Hey fans, this is Zach Speck from Messiah College Athletics. I'm here to bring you another edition of Falcon Hot Seat. Today we have Travis Ebersol from the wrestling team. Travis, thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Travis, we just got off a of spring break and a lot of people did a couple trips down to Florida, somewhere south and warm, but you had a pretty unique spring break in and of itself. Uh, you compete at the NCAA in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and how it was? Uh, it was a really neat experience. We uh, uh, practiced here Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and the team actually hung around. There was like 19 guys that uh, headed out and they hung around till uh, Wednesday and then we uh, ended up flying out Wednesday um, morning after we had a morning practice. Got out there Wednesday um, and just kind of we got in around like 6 o'clock Wednesday evening and then we just hung out at the hotel, uh, sat in a hot tub, relaxed and uh, then uh, Thursday we went out and uh, went to the arena around 10 o'clock in the morning just kind of had a practice and then we got set for uh, the tournament on Friday. So how did it feel as a senior? You wound down your senior season, um, very successful, great season by the way, but how does it feel as a senior to finish at the NCAA championships in Iowa? I mean it's everyone's dream to uh, get to nationals and uh, to get there uh, my senior year it uh, definitely made it worthwhile. It was a lot of fun. And you said you mentioned you had 19 or 20 of the other your other teammates. How was that kind of as, during your matches? How was that as team bonding as you could take us away um, as an experience? How did you feel that boosted the team morale? Dude, it just boosted everyone. Like to see your teammates drive like 18 hours out there and to see them in the, in the stands just going nuts. It just made you feel like you weren't the only one there, and it just made you want to even work even harder and push it um, to where you couldn't go anymore. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a really cool story and a great way to end the season for you guys too. And so off the mats, I've heard from a few teammates and some of your roommates and friends that you're pretty into fish. Yeah. Could you please go into detail a little bit about that as far as your fish tanks and what kind of fish you like? Uh, well, at the beginning of the year, we had uh, we started out. Well, my roommate Robert, he uh, he got me into it. He uh, has just like a little 20 gallon tank. And uh, so this summer I got into it, got a 55 gallon tank. One of my hobbies is I just like to look on Craigslist for fish tanks and so I was like, oh man, I'm going to find a good deal. And so every day I just keep looking. Finally, uh, I found a 90 gallon tank and a uh, guy had it on sale for like 400 bucks and worked it all the way down to 175 bucks. Ended up selling my 55 gallon tank for 150 bucks on Craigslist. And uh, so, and then uh, I originally had piranhas. Um, which you're not even allowed to have here at Messiah, but I had them and then uh, they uh, ended up getting a disease. I don't know, I don't even know how they got it, but they ended up getting it and they all died. Well, I sold two of them all on Craigslist and so I upgraded to a cichlid tank and so now I'm slowly but surely just adding cichlids. They're like, I don't know, sweet fish I think. So you're quite the Craigslist connoisseur as you say in the fishing department. Are you a big fisherman or you just like to collect fish, tropical no, fish? I definitely, I like to do a lot of saltwater fishing. Um, we do a lot of flounder fishing but hoping to get into uh, tuna and marlin here this summer. So. so over the summer you take any fishing trips down south ocean deep sea fishing? Yeah we have a, we have a place down in Ocean City, Maryland so we uh, have a boat that we go out on pretty much every weekend that we go down. So. I know fishermen all have their fish tails and all that. What's the biggest fish that you've ever caught? Um, well, the biggest fish I ever caught was like a 35 inch striper. I like held it up and it was like from my waist down to the ground. It's a huge and fish. It was, it, was a, it was a pretty big fish. It was Did awesome you reel, reel it in all by yourself all and by you myself. caught it by yourself? Yeah. So when you're not fishing, you're not practicing for wrestling. What else, what other activities on campus, off campus do you like to do? What do you do for fun? Um, I mean, just hang out in the apartment, but uh, definitely get into the rec stuff. Um, like rec sports fan? Oh yeah, once wrestling ends, we're doing rec frisbee and rec softball. So Are you, you going to be the DH? Are you going to be the four slot for your softball team? Uh, Clean up? I'm normally like the number five guy on the softball team. What position do you play? I definitely first base. First I don't base. like to do any extra running in the off season or anything like that. Just you don't want to you don't want to strain the, <laughs> the cardio. <laughs> don't want to strain nothing. Yeah. Do you have a favorite sports team? Uh, definitely a big Phillies fan. Phillies fan. Um, but that's about it. I mean, any other Phillies teams aren't really that fun to watch. But perfect. Yeah. Well, appreciate you stopping by today. Yeah. Hey fans, be sure to check out our website next week for the next edition of the Falcon Fan Hot Scene. Travis, thanks again for coming out today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much.